I find shocking when the journalists are under threats, under, uh, under harassment, which starts uh, online very often, and uh, which uh, they announce to the states, and the states do not react properly to guarantee their security. And it is, it is more in our recommendation to increase security of journalists, which we issued earlier. Earlier, But uh, there is a link to what we are proposing today, because in case there is a double act against the journalist, both this harassment or threats and uh, using this abusive litigation, it's one of the things the journalist should, pr should present to the court, and the court will uh, use it as one of the, of the criteria for possible early dismissal of the case. So I, I just wanted to explain this, this breach. One of the, of the journalists who were under threats uh, was Jan Kuciak, who was the second murdered journalist in, in the EU. And uh, uh, I, I know from uh, the Slovak journalists that also in, in uh, uh, their case, uh, uh, the, the pressure through, through the litigations uh, was already used. Uh, I will uh, tell you about the case of Catherine Belton. She is the author of best-selling Putin's People and target of several coordinated slaps in the United Kingdom and abroad, also in Australia, including by Roman Abramovich. Uh, her publisher ended up spending 1.5 million uh, sterling in legal defense costs and had the trial been lost, the costs would have likely exceeded uh, 10 million. And here the, 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 the issue, the, the, the aspect of money is important because, as I said before, these litigations are uh, normally st started by powerful and wealthy people against uh, ob those who obviously do not have such uh, a financial buffer. And so especially the journalists who are uh, working freelance as freelancers or who work in uh, uh, smaller media houses, they have an incredible problem uh, when, uh, uh, being, when facing the, the, the litigation uh, and uh, when having to, to invest money in it. And, and I was informed by the, the big media houses that they have a special buffer, special budget for, for this uh, kind of expenditures. And so you have to recognize there is something wrong uh, in the system. And then when, uh, whenever when we see uh, such imbalanced uh, uh, relationship between the, the powerful and the the weak ones, uh, there normally should be the law which comes to help the weaker side. It's, it's quite a tradition in the European Union. So here we see the case where Roman Abramovich uh, uh, is, uh, is launching the process against uh, uh, the, the single journalist, and I think that this case is also quite telling. Thank you very much.